Keep your heads lifted up, family in Jesus Christ, I love you. And here's the verse of the day. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. It is finished. And praise God for all of you carrying your cross daily and denying yourself and following him. Let's go straight to the truth. And the truth is, God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, God in the flesh said, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And Peter said, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy and I will shew wonders in heaven above. And blatantly and obviously that's what he's doing. You could see right there. Signs in the heavens above and signs in the earth beneath. And he's fulfilling that too. You can see it right there. And this is the biggest sign of Jonah since Jesus Christ was in the grave for three days and three nights and then resurrected. Like Jonah in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights and then spit out. And when we're disobedient and we don't do what God says, and remember, his sheep hear his voice. And when we don't do what Jesus Christ is telling us, we feel like Jonah, for thou hast cast me into the deep in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about. And when we're disobedient and we don't listen to his voice and do what he says, our life start falling apart and the walls start closing in. And when we take our eyes off Jesus Christ, we start sinking into the ocean deeper and deeper like Peter. But remember, the helper, the comforter, the Holy Spirit that the Father sent in Jesus Christ's name will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that Jesus Christ has said to you. And remember, we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost whom God hath given to them that obey him. So let's all keep trying our best to do what the Holy Spirit tells us and thank him that he's producing righteousness through us. And when we slip up, we have an intercessor, Jesus Christ. And if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And when thou passest through the waters, he will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall flame kindle upon thee. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. So keep pushing, family, and draw your sword, the word of God, and hold up your shield of faith that extinguishes all flaming arrows of the evil one. And don't believe the devil's lies because all things work together for good to them that love God and are here according to his purpose. And that's you, family. Let's roll. Let's ride. Let's fly. Let's keep walking with Jesus Christ on the narrow path. And remember, finding the date of the rapture is not important. What's important is what we do until that date. And stay awake. And keep watching because he is pointing out this date on 4 8. And Strong's Bible Concordance in Greek for 48 is to purify, cleanse. And in Hebrew, it's exalted father. And when you mirror this date, 48 84, in the Bible Concordance, it's to seize and carry away. Son Arpazo, it's right here. From sun and harpazo. And harpazo, translated to English, means rapture, caught up. And the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And most of you know, 8-4 is Obama's birthday. And if you didn't know, he's on the move. A day ago, he popped up in the United Kingdom. And this weekend, on the Sabbath, on 3-23... 
the Colorado Democratic Party will host the seventh completion annual Obama Gala and the first ever Colorado Dem Fest in Denver on 323. And there's a lot to this, but remember, Strong's Greek 323 is a showing forth. And remember, there's only one occurrence in the whole Bible. Luke 180, the day of his shoeing unto Israel. Strong's 323, family, the Greek lexicon, until the day he was announced of his shoeing to the people as the forerunner of the Messiah. That was John the Baptist preparing the way for Jesus Christ. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. And remember, the Antichrist, he tries to copy God. He's a counterfeit version. Revelation 1.14, like Nisan 14, the day Jesus Christ died for our sin. The day it was finished, his head and his hairs were white like wool. That's Jesus Christ, God Almighty. And when you back up a verse, you can see, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, his hairs were white like wool. Obama, that ran his campaign on change and transformation. Well, there it is. His hair is turning white as wool. Obama visits Downing Street for surprise meeting in number 10, like X. Roman numerals, number 10, like the sign of Jonah, the X, like the X that goes through Jonah, Texas, Nineveh, Cross, Elijah, Rapture, Indiana, and much more. Like when you go to the U.S. debt clock and you click on secret window and it takes you to X, which used to be Twitter, and as you can see right here, they have a new image up with the X over America, with the X in the fish, and they're still promoting the new kingdom and the great reset and God's 2017 signs when the woman was clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet that many channels lied about and said that Jupiter was in retrograde in her stomach for nine months but Jupiter was not. Jupiter was in there for 11 months. But here's what stands out. And I showed you, they have a mirrored image of a big Jupiter where it was at on September 23rd, 2017. And then on the right, there's a little Jupiter. And all glory to our father, I showed you that little Jupiter was right there on May 14th. 2017. So it looks like the Antichrist system is announcing that their new kingdom is coming on May 14th, Israel's birthday, when Israel turns 76 years old. And I will never set a rapture date. God is using me to encourage you and keep you awake, waiting for him, expecting him keeping your lamps burning brightly, preparing the way for Jesus Christ. So he has me pointing out the dates of his signs. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. God willing, I'm going to keep pointing out his signs and walking us all the way to the rapture until it happens. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Praise you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, we love you. And the word says that nothing pleases him more than his children walking in truth. And the star, asteroid, minor planet, whatever you want to call it, is right there in the lineup with the planetary alignment on the eclipse. And a fortnight before the sign of Jonah, the 4-8 solar eclipse, you could see right here, this is when the moon turns to blood and is darkened. On the 24th and the 25th, and I showed you, when you zoom in, on the eclipse, it passes five virginies.
And it's right there. And five virginies represents the five wise virgins. When you look up the meaning of virginies, it means virgin. So keep your lamps lit, burning bright, family. And the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And for four years, over four years now, all glory to our Father, I've been trying to tell everyone in 2024, 2025, and 2026, there's a blood moon on all three Purims, all three years in a row. And Purim is the anniversary of when God used Esther to save the Jews from annihilation. This is the biggest sign there is. And it's obvious that he designed these signs three years in a row on Purim to warn the Jewish people. Now back to the sign of Jonah, the great American solar eclipse in the heavens. It's completely stacked. The signs are everywhere covering the eclipse. And as you can see right under American is the star paradise above the eclipse by itself, and right after the moon goes past the star truth, it goes past messenger on the right-hand corner, top corner. Then it goes past church. Then what they call these false gods, Mars and Saturn. Then it goes past Christian. Then end date. Then Jerusalem, which is in the well. If you put on the boundaries, Jerusalem is in the well constellation. They call Cetus. Then the moon passes cross. Then Venus. Then flood. Then Celestia, which means heavenly. Right in the middle of the well. And that word celestial is only in the Bible two times in one verse. And it means heavenly. And it's connected to the sign of Jonah and in the well. And here's why. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. And again, celestial means heavenly. And if you didn't know, terrestrial means earthly, which runs with Acts 2.19, and I will shoot wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. And that's exactly what you're seeing here, family. Signs in the heaven above and in the earth beneath. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, the solar eclipse on 4-8, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, which are completely stacked. And with the sun and the moon is the star groom right there in the eclipse. And on the left of that, you can see the star spirit and Lucifer right next to each other. Like the spirit of Lucifer is coming, the Antichrist. And right underneath that is apostle, which means apostle for one star different from another star in glory, which leads to Paul speaking about the resurrection. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit, Jesus Christ. And I just got hit with the Holy Spirit. And if you have that same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the grave, he will quicken your mortal body and give you life. Verse 46. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven, Jesus Christ. As is the earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as in the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. This correlates with Acts 2.19, family, and the resurrection. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. That's exactly what's happening here, family. The earthly signs and the heavenly signs. Now this I say, brethren... 
that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord.